Today is the day that I finally tackle my makeup room. I'm doing a giveaway in this video. Look at all this makeup. Guys, there's so much stuff in here. So there's gonna be three lucky winners. All you have to do is follow my TikTok at Sylvia and make sure you subscribe to this channel. And then just comment done in your TikTok name so I can message you on TikTok if you've won. Back to the video. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> there's just chaos. It's chaos everywhere. I have procrastinated this for months for a reason. One, I'm a lazy bitch, but also it's gonna be a lot of work because I not only need to reorganize my entire makeup collection, and start putting it away in these empty containers. I want to also redo my entire filming setup because I'm not feeling this anymore. I don't want a mirror behind me. I think I'm gonna utilize this corner of the room somehow, get some decor. We've got a closet to reorganize, a bunch of equipment in here. If I don't start it today, I'm literally never gonna start it. So I'm just gonna do what I can and go from there. Oh God, this one's heavy. Oh hell no, I'm scratching every single wall on the way out. We haven't even started yet and I'm already out of breath. <sighs> but this is the room now without all the equipment. I want to move this desk to this wall, have my entire makeup collection along that wall. So then there's a clear path to the closet, which will have no makeup in it. It'll just be equipment storage. I don't know yet fully how it's gonna go, but let's see what it looks like. So first I'm moving everything out of the way. So I have room to move the furniture around. Thank God Charles is here to help me. And we're just taking out a lot of the makeup that I had stored in my closet. Cause now I wanna keep my collection out on this wall and just adding a lot more of those empty drawers. Cause I really needed more space. So now the drawers are ready to be filled. First, we have to kind of sort out my piles of makeup. So I have Charles's help. Oh my God! And then we have all this PR makeup that has to be put away. It's messy, but we have to organize it and then pop it in the drawers. And then I wanted to go through this shelving unit and clear it all out. I was going through my single shadows and just getting rid of any of the really old ones. A lot of the ColourPop ones were dried out and really old, so I got rid of those. But I did end up keeping the single shadows in this spot because this insert is just so perfect for them. The next drawer was a lot of my palettes. We had a couple of throwback moments. This Vice palette from Urban Decay and then this Lime Crime palette. Oh my goodness, I was obsessed with Lime Crime, but I haven't touched this palette for years, so that was going. And then I did find these empty palettes palettes that I'm gonna clean up and probably depot my single shadows and put them in here because I feel like that'll get me to use them way more. Moving on to the next drawer, we had more palettes, but these were more like face palettes. Trying to get rid of anything that might be really old or I haven't used in a long time, but honestly, I'm a makeup hoarder, so it's hard for me to let go, especially like palettes, you know? They're so pretty. The foundation drawers, however, I did do a lot better getting rid of stuff, mostly because they were very obviously expired or too old. I also didn't really like this Natasha Denona foundation, so I got rid of that and just cleared this drawer out. And then taking all my skincare and starting to sort it and organize it into the drawers. Now onto my makeup collection and organizing my makeup. I put some dividers in this big drawer and this is gonna be used for body shimmers and oils in the top left cubby, body makeup on the right cubby, and then the front two are all face primers. And then the drawer beside it, I'm putting all my setting sprays. I am gonna go through all of my makeup collection at the end when I give you guys the big reveal. But for now, just sit back, relax, and enjoy all this organizing.
Now it's time to tackle my closet where I keep all of my electronics, my backdrops, and I kind of just have it all laid out on the shelf right now. So let's fix that. Moving on to my desk area, which you can see is an absolute disaster, and I'm gonna organize this trolley as well. And doing the exact same thing with my other desk. And then vacuuming the room and mopping the floors afterwards. This was so satisfying, you guys. I'm like a huge deep cleaner. I just get a sick satisfaction from deep cleaning. So I was going in. After everything was sparkling clean, I just moved all my furniture into the spots that I wanted them. And I brought in all my equipment from the hallway and started setting it up and plugging it all in. So it's time for the big reveal after days of organizing makeup. Now everything finally has a spot. It feels so much better to be in this room after procrastinating for so long, like now to have everything tidy and look good, I feel great about it. I really didn't wanna spend more money on like buying new things. So I tried to work with what I have and I feel like it turned out really good. Let's check it out. The biggest change in the room is moving the direction of like my entire setup. So instead of having it in the middle, how it was before against that wall, now we have it facing this corner. So the entire corner here is what you'll see behind me in the videos now. I was worried initially of doing this setup because I thought it would take up more space in the room, but it's actually the opposite. There's way more space to walk around and the room just feels so much bigger now with using the corner as my background. It just gives so much more like depth. Now my vanity can be behind me, but now it doesn't reflect all the lights and stuff and it just looks so much better. Also, I have hue lights around the vanity. So I love that because I'll change the color to like match my makeup looks that I'm doing and I feel like that will just be like a whole vibe. Over here we have this awesome gift that Too Faced got me. It has my boys, Prince and Wolfie. I know that I wanna keep this up in my room, but I just don't know that I wanna keep it here yet. So I want you guys to help me decide. I feel like it looks good in person, but because the background gets blurry in the videos, it kind of looks like a creepy person is behind me staring at me. Comment what you guys think, cause I actually don't know. I have this prized possession, a little bougie moment. This is my Louis Vuitton makeup case. And over here I have my most used lipsticks, my favorite MAC lipsticks, the two Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that are my favorite and Supermodel and Pillow Talk. I'm actually wearing Pillow Talk right now. And over here we have the very aesthetically pleasing, trending plant that everybody is using for home decor recently, but I just love the look of it. And then obviously I have my backdrop stand, which also fits perfectly here. I can just swap out the paper rolls. My equipment setup for filming and stuff hasn't really changed since the last time I gave you guys a tour of that. So I'll link that video down below. And now for my desk area. So this is where the filming magic happens and the makeup magic. I didn't change much other than cleaning it up. The only thing I changed out here was I swapped out my chair. I had a really old Ikea chair that I've had for like seven years. So it was full of makeup. The leather was like crusting off. We had to get rid of that. This one I believe is from Wayfair. It's so cute and way more comfortable. And I also added this fake fur thingy for some added comfort. And then I also added this rug, which is so glam and so fun. On my actual desk, I have my little mirror. You can charge it and it turns on and these are all LED lights. And then this is an iPad holder, which is really, really useful when filming because I'm constantly like watching Netflix in between shots or I'm searching up information on products so I can be accurate in my reviews with you guys. And it saves so much more desk space. And then I have my brushes on my desk. I'm able to 
hold so many brushes in these Morphe travel brush containers. I actually saw James Charles use these to store his brushes and I thought that's so smart. They are amazing for this. You can fit so many brushes in each one. On the other side of the desk, I have this little organizing drawers where I just keep some of my most reached for tools. And then right next to my desk, I'm keeping this organization cart. It has three tiers, so lots of space. Lip liners and eye pencils. Some of my favorite go-to brow pencils and my eyeliners. And this is just one of my makeup bags. And here I'll keep most of the stuff that I reach for and keep going back to. I like to have it kind of on hand. And I got this cord protector, which I feel like makes it look so much more clean. I do just have the one extension cord going across, but it's awesome. It'll prevent tripping and it makes me feel professional like an actual studio. I don't know. I love that this room has a nice walk-in closet. I can store my lights when I'm not using them. They're just random stuff. I have like wigs up there. I added some extra acrylic drawers here. Phone cases, lenses stored in there. So that's really nice because I can utilize the space vertically. Behind these lights, I have my paper backdrops and I have these styrofoam kind of holders for those. So yeah, it's nice that I have all that storage in here. Moving on to the makeup collection. So I've talked about these organizers before. They do a really great job of organizing makeup and beauty products. I labeled each drawer with a label maker. I'll have it linked in the description, but I love my label maker. So this is my liquid liner drawer. We have colorful liners, classic black liners, all the liners you could need. Then we have the drugstore mascara drawer, one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. So these extra small drawers are great. They don't have dividers, but they're great for any like larger size items or stuff that I don't really need to be organized into really small spaces. You know what I'm saying? I have the high-end mascara drawer, some personal favorite high-end mascaras, the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. I really like the Big Ego Mascara. Too Faced Better Than Sex is also a personal favorite. Just so many good mascaras. Then we have the small small drawers that have the option for dividers in them. So you can divide these into six different compartments, which makes it perfect for organizing small lip products. So we have my high-end lipsticks. I've tried to store them upside down so then the label is facing up so I can see what color is what. Miss Dominique Cosmetics lipsticks, they are amazing, so creamy. Makeup Forever over here, some Giorgio Armani, Hourglass, Too Faced. As you can see, I've tried to keep it organized by brand, which is just a personal preference. I know some people like to organize by shades. More high-end lipsticks. I probably have the most Huda Beauty and MAC lipsticks. And then we have my high-end liquid lips. We have some Rare Beauty. See, again, a lot of Huda Beauty. Giorgio Armani, Hourglass some Dose of Colors. I really, really love Dose of Colors liquid lipstick formula. It doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick at all, but it looks so matte and delicious. We have some Fenty Beauty, also a favorite. Then drugstore slash affordable liquid lipsticks. Love the ColourPop Fresh Kiss liquid lipsticks. They are really, really good. And then you might recognize the NYX Shine Loud. This was viral on TikTok and I actually really ended up liking it. And the last four are lip glosses. We've got Kylie Cosmetics. Her lip oils and glosses are some of my absolute favorite from her. KKW Beauty, which needs to come back because I love her makeup. A lot of NARS lip glosses in this drawer. I love NARS's lip glosses. Some Urban Decay. I have a shit ton of Too Faced lip glosses. They have some of the best lip plumping formulas. And the drugstore lip gloss drawer. Some NYX, some Milani. Love the Maybelline Lifter gloss. This is a really good dupe to the Fendi gloss bomb. So as you can see, I have probably the most lip products from any category of makeup in my makeup collection, and they definitely take up the most drawers. Then we have my brush and applicators drawer, extra makeup sponges, some poofs. We have the brow drawer, we have the brow pencils, the brow gels, and just other random brow products like the waxes, the NYX glue, some brow powders, some brow pomades. I don't reach for brow pomades that much anymore, so I kept them in the back here, and same with brow powders. I prefer using the pencils, so I put those first, kind of in order of how I use them. Moving on to this kind of random drawer. We got all the eye primers here. In the center is all the lash glue and then some extra lash curlers and lash applicators. Then I have my liquid eyeshadows and more liquid and like cream eyeshadows sticks. The MAC Liquid Dazzle shadows are so gorgeous. We have the duo chromes from Natasha Denona. A lot of Huda Beauty eyeshadows. They're duo sided. One side is like a matte cream and the other side is a glittery cream eyeshadow. So I love these. This side we've got some cream shadows 
Shadow Sticks. I have the Makeup Forever ones, they're really good. Some Kylie Jumbo Pencils, and then some Potted Cream Eyeshadows. Recently, I'm loving cream eyeshadows a lot more. I have two concealer drawers. Tried to organize by brand again. Marc Jacobs con Cream Concealer Sticks right here. I really like these. I have one for contour and one for actual concealer. The Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness is not really like a concealer. It's more of a kind of a correcting cream slash BB cream situation. And this MAC concealer palette, these are the two items that I use when I just want some cover up on like my acne and stuff. And then more concealers over here. Tarte Shape Tape is one of my personal favorites. Really love the Too Faced Born This Way concealer as well. I have some Natasha Denona back here, but honestly, I'm not really a fan of this concealer and it's really old and looking kind of disgusting. So I'm gonna get rid of that. NARS, a classic, probably my favorite concealer as of right now. Then we have highlights and bronzers. In the highlight drawers, we have all the creams over here. Sometimes I do like to keep the packaging that stuff's in. If it has like the name or the color of whatever it is, it helps a lot. The Rose Quartz, which I think was limited edition and it went viral on TikTok. Kind of looks like a Petri dish. Makeup by Mario Balm highlight, which is so good. And this is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow One, which is very underrated. You can mix it in with foundations to make your foundation more glowy or use it on its own. It's so good. Powder highlights, self-explanatory. We got some drugstore over here, high end over here. I love the Laura Lee Loose Powder highlights. And for bronzers, cream bronzers, powder bronzers. The Rare Beauty one is a personal favorite. I love that. I love the Makeup by Mario ones. Usually I put my favorites and the ones I reach for more at the front and the ones that I maybe don't reach for as much at the back. Powder bronzer favorites would have to be the Glowish bronzers. I love these. They are so good. Classic Hula bronzers. Some of the bigger bronzers in the back. Marc Jacobs, super fancy. The House Labs bronzer and highlight compacts. And then the cream blushes and powder blushes. I love cream blushes, probably even more than powder blushes. So I have a lot more of them. The glowish ones are so good. Again, kept them in the packaging because it shows the colors really nicely. The She Glam blushes are so amazing. So I have almost every color of that. We've got some drugstore ones in the back. I love these pixie on the glow blushes. I'll probably need another drawer because I have so many liquid blushes and I love them all. And the powder blushes blushes. I feel like this drawer is not as exciting, but I really love Makeup by Mario's powder blushes. He has some great shades and an amazing long wearing formula. These are the medium size organizers. And in these, I organize my powders. In the front, I have my pressed powders. And in the back, I have my loose setting powders. Kind of tried to organize by brand. Loving the Huda Beauty one and drugstore favorite is the Maybelline Fit Me. I have my affordable lashes. The affordable Lily lashes are some of my favorite. I also really love Kiss Lashes, Faux Mink Collection, so good. Then we have my high-end falsies, which are in a bigger drawer, mostly because this container takes up so much space. This is a brand I found on TikTok and I'm really excited to try those. They look so cool. Huda Beauty, I love the Samantha number no. sevens, but they are a little pricey, but they're so good. I love my lash drawers, they're very satisfying. And then these four large drawers are all of my palettes. So this is my face palettes drawers, blushes, highlights, just all over complexion palettes. My eyeshadow palette drawers, I tried to lay them so I could kind of flick them through like this, what palette I want. And I have them organized by brand. So these are all the Natasha Denona palettes, all of the Huda Beauty mini palettes here, Makeup by Mario's palettes. Again, a personal favorite. I just really love his brand. He makes great makeup. And then we got just a shit ton more palettes over here. I tried to keep the smaller sized ones on this side, but yeah, you get the idea. And the drugstore palette drawer slash affordable palettes. Maybelline some Maven Beauty, some BH Cosmetics. Then I have my foundations. I have four medium-sized drawers dedicated to my foundations. This is my powder foundations. Underneath, we have drugstore foundations. I still have a lot of space for some more, but I really like the Sephora Best Skin Ever, L'Oreal True Match, Superstay, one of my favorites. And we have my high-end foundations. Most expensive foundation ever, classic double wear. The Cosmetics CC Nude Glow is a newer one. It is so good. I've been really loving this one recently. The Bare Minerals Original Foundation is one of my personal favorites for when I'm applying really quick foundation. Over here, absolutely love Peach Perfect. I'm so sad they discontinued it. Born This Way is top three favorite foundations of all time. Luminous Silk, also top three primers and setting spray drawers. So these are all my primers. And then some body makeup. We have the KKW body makeup, the Fenty Beauty body makeup, 
and the setting sprays. We still have lots of space. The last drawer is the drawer that I reach for the least. This is my special effects and Halloween kind of makeup drawer. So I have all my face paint, wig caps, some horns, some jewels, spirit gum, fake blood, the good stuff. The best face paint and body paint palette of all time. You can tell she's been abused and loved. So that's it for the makeup collection. So I put this over here. This is my BH Cosmetics display that was at my event when I came out with my palette and it's one of my favorite things ever. I have my perfectly unused palette right here and I will never use her. She is purely for display. So yeah, this is like the hottest I've ever looked. So we're gonna just keep that on display for everyone to be reminded that I'm a hot, successful match, including myself, because I do need to be reminded that sometimes, you know? Then we have my tower here, which has mostly skincare and hair care products, except for the top drawer. This is my single shadows. We have my eye creams and lip creams. Then we have my serums. Then we have face masks and like exfoliation. Then we have moisturizers and SPF. I really love Fresh Beauty. They have some great stuff. Stuff, and First Aid Beauty is one of my favorite skincare brands as well. Then we have some toners. Again, the kombucha facial essence is so, so good. I love that one. Then we have my cleansers and removers. And last drawer is a hair drawer. So I have extra hair stuff, some shampoos and conditioners, some treatments. So I love this drawer. Anytime I run out of shampoo or conditioner, I reach in here. So that is it for this beauty room tour. If you've been a long time follower, you know that my beauty room has changed and transformed so many times through the years with all the different different places that I've lived and changing houses and everything. So this is the current situation. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it therapeutic because it was a little stressful for me. It can be very overwhelming when you own this much makeup or to tidy up anything that you've just let go too far, you know? But I feel so much better now that it's all done. And it makes me feel inspired to actually be in this room and be on my game, create content and get back to doing what I love to do and feel like I was meant to do because your girl been slacking, been going through lots, but this is a good step in the right direction. So take this as a sign to finally organize your life or do that one thing that you've been procrastinating to do because you feel so much better after. And of course, don't forget to enter that giveaway before you click off the video. Just be following my TikTok and be subscribed to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Mwah. Bye.